What's up guys, District 9 Detective here. We are out with the Garrett Ace Apex with the Viper Coil. And we're gonna see what we find today out on the field here. Uh, this signal was shallow and it started out at a 66. It made its way up to, I think, a 70. And it'll pop the coin. Let's see what it is. And I lost it. Just had it and now I dropped it. There it is. Okay. It's a memorial. Okay. We'll take it and move on. The sun's not really on my side here, but I'm in a zero mode, so I can hear the iron and everything else, and sensitivity is cranked just two bars down. You don't really need it much higher than that. Um, yeah, uh, I'm on multi-frequency. Um, yep. And I'm on this channel because of EMI. <clears throat> There's a lot of power lines, but yeah, so I'm running. It's not new, but the Viper coil I got is new because uh, my old one was chattery down by where the line meets it. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I sent it into Garrett and they sent me a new one and it works fine now. Um, all my other coils for the Apex were doing awesome, so um, I had no complaint there. It was just the Viper coil, I think, was defective when they came out, so. But, yeah, this thing's pretty stable. I'm in this really trashy, iron-infested area here, and it's a lot of uh, Coke cans and, uh, you know, just junk, pull tabs. So, it's doing good. We'll see. I got a good good signal there. It went up to the 70s. So it could be a penny, but we'll check it out. And I'm digging another hole here. And this was that last hole there, that signal. Uh, well, it was two signals. There was a bullet casing and this thing. It's like a little snap to something. I don't know. I think it's a snap for like leather, maybe to a boot. I think there's some leather in there. Cool. Well, anyways, so we're digging around. We're not many good signals right here. I'm moving up into the field where there was a bunch of old stuff before, so hopefully we find something good. Onward. I'm still cranking away with the apex and about four inches down I just popped a 62 signal. Sounded great. I'm trying to figure out what it is. It's a wheel, but it doesn't look like a piece to a toy car. I wonder if it's like a piece of a can opener? I don't know. It's weird. It's like the guide wheel to a can opener almost. I have no idea what that is. We'll take it and move on. Uh, I had like, I don't know, high 60s, maybe 70s. I'll pop the crusty memorial. Yep, there we go. Stinking Lincoln right there. 88. Alright, moving on. Well, I had a really strong 78 and out popped a coin. So, I can't read it. I think it's just a memorial. Yep, copper memorial, almost a weedy. You can tell. I can't read the date, something four. Uh, yeah, memorial. Yeah. Get back in here. Uh, I just had a good 80 signal. And I'll pop this old relic. And I believe it <coughs> to 
be for one of those wagon cart stoppers. Could be wrong. Could also be, I guess, the tip of a cane or something. But I think that's what it is. To an old horse drawn cart. They'd have a <clears throat> there'd be like a stopper there. I don't know, I could be wrong. Seen them a few, I think I've found a couple of these actually before, but never here, so. Cool. Relic. Alright. It's some sort of relic, I know that. <laughs> well, I decided to get a drink of water. Switch to the Quest Q30 just to see how it does out here. I haven't really used it that much this year, so we'll see. I'm still trying to figure out the settings on this Quest Q30. Like I said, I haven't used it since that first time there really, or first couple times. And 2930, and right on top of the plug, it's a nickel. It's a 19, 1987 Jefferson nickel. That's all right. <clears throat> We're out digging. We're not finding much today. Typical, but. You know what? We're right out digging. Alright. Mid 60s, let's check it out. Uh, 66, 67, 68, you saw it was just a zinc penny. <clears throat> and it was pretty deep. I'm guessing they did a lot of work over here on next to this field. That I'm at. I left the trashy area because I haven't really set this thing up for success yet, clearly. And it's just uh, really noisy out there. Like, I, I haven't really figured out all the settings. Like, I just figured out how to change <clears throat> the frequency there for EMI. So, I did that because the pinpointer, the Garrett, was setting off that when when I turned it on so I like this detector though it is pretty simple to use and it's just an awesome machine submersible yeah all right let's see what we find and right now I'm near an old concession stand so my guess is that's another penny I'm probably gonna find a ton of them over here Very shallow, so probably like an inch or two deep. We'll see. All right, just what I thought. This was actually like three, maybe four inches deep. Um, I thought it would be on the surface. It might still be a penny on the surface there. It's a memorial, and again, you know, like five inches deep is just a zinc memorial. And this is 2005. So, in the last, what, 17 years, that pennies went down, down, down. All right, another memorial. I emptied my pouch. I had a ton of big iron. So, yeah, moving on. <clears throat> well, like I said, I'm in park mode. So, I like park mode. I'm in four tone. There's a little hint of something there. It does sound too good, so we'll, we'll see. Well, this was actually a plus to my day since I found like nothing. <laughs> found a, that's what that signal was, guys. We were just looking at, hold on, I gotta move that. <clears throat> it's not precious, <laughs> but it's a religious medallion. It says, St. Francis, it's a medallion, religious there. Uh, there's something on the back, I can't read it. And it, it, I think it's, it might be aluminum. I don't know. It has some weight to it, but not a lot. So it might be really thin. I think it's aluminum. I don't know. 
maybe a mix. It's nice though, cool. Wow. Jewelry. Cool, I'm gonna put that on the top pouch here. Now I'm working this uh, really nice field, so I'm trying to keep these plugs as good as I can. <clears throat> Only doing, you know, quarter to half cuts with my spade here. I'm just doing like a little, just like a little V shape, a little V shape, and then prying it up and then digging underneath it. And then putting that back down and make it look like I was never here. That's the goal because this is an old sports field and, you know, they still use it. And I don't want a kid to run and trip and break his leg because of me and my hobby, you know. So keep that in mind. Yeah, jewelry. Moving on. All right. Sixties. What's it gonna be? Of course, it had to be Kansas. Look at that. Makes sense. Old sports field. Be fine.